Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. We return to road car versus race car at Le Mans. Last time out we raced the Ford Focus RS and it did pretty well second place. This time out we're going from four wheel drive to two wheel drive, a front wheel drive Renault Clio RS. Anything could happen? And probably won't. Just as before, we're going to be racing on the World Touring Car 700 event, which of course has tyre wear and fuel usage. It's a 30 minute race. Now let's just check the settings of our car. We're on racing hard tyres. The reason I'm going for hards rather than mediums is because the front wheel drive car has a tendency to really chew up the front tyres. And we're at 667.88 pp. The pp limit for this race is 700. And you can expect to see the group fours around there. Uh, this is my fingers because I'm not sure what I've done with my gloves. There's my gloves. I think we can get about three laps of, uh, of good racing out of the Clio before fuel becomes an issue. The tyres should hang in that long. Of course, rain is a big factor. This race can be rain affected. Just make sure I've got the manual gearbox on. We've got one traction control just to uh, just to keep those hard tyres calm. Uh, yeah, as last time we're in normal uh, difficulty. We don't want to make it too easy or we don't want to make it ridiculous. And already there you can see the massive, massive understeer on these hard tyres. Uh, so that's a bit of a tricky start. And catch up to Cy Bishop's Ferrari. Oh, we're understeering all over the place. Uh, we want to try and make up as many places as we can at the start. Um, by short shifting and making use of slipstreams. The Clio does have a tendency to top out quite quickly. I did try stretching the, the gears out, but I find acceleration was just, uh, it was too poor for this challenge. Okay, whoa. Well, who's coming across on us then? Now can we just try and sneak our way through, thread the needle, as it were, using the various slipstreams. I'm going to try and get back over so we can take our line. I don't think we're going to be able to take our line again. <gasps> Excuse me, Gallo. Thank you. <laughs> A bit too much overspeed there. Um, the phone ringing in the background. Uh, I'm not going to do anything about that at this time. Get up behind to Pi in the Mustang. We're currently 13 and a half seconds behind the leader. Is that second chicane coming up? We're just going to uh, coast in, let Tapai save us some fuel, I think. We don't want to overdo it and burn all our fuel, We're trying to catch up with the leaders, because we don't know what's going to happen later on in the race. Uh, and if the weather comes or if the weather doesn't come, uh, we're going to see different strategies from the, from the cars. We would just take our time, be patient, coast into this corner, and we're going to make it nice and wide, as wide as we can. But of course, you can get on the throttle a little bit earlier than with other cars when you're in a front-wheel drive car, and let that uh, let the front-wheel drive just drag you around the corner, if you've got the car balanced right, which clearly we did just then. Can we get up alongside the Mitsubishi before the end of the street? I don't think we can. We're not going to quite get the uh, stream advantage we were hoping for. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Can live with that. Off the throttle nice and early. Try and protect those tyres as much as we can. How's the fuel situation? 78. So to make this work, we want to be at 66 or above when we cross the finish line. We'll keep an eye on that. If we overconsume, I'll drop into engine mode 6 for a lap. 
and try and recoup some of that fuel. Obviously, if I'm two stopping, it's going to be an extra. If I'm, if I'm using the fuel in two laps, it's going to be an extra stop during the race, and that's going to be abysmal for us. So we're going up behind Mangino. We cannot. Oops, there's a wall there. Who put that there? How dare they? Right, come down a little bit for this next corner, because this is where I normally end up getting a penalty. And also, we know from the previous race, we can really make a lot of ground in these uh, final chicanes before the start-finish line. The AI are particularly bad through there. So we're not going to panic too much at this stage. We'll slow down nice and early. Oops, I've revved that a little bit. And as you can see, oh, come on. As you can see, we've got plenty of fuel. So engine mode five is going to work for us. A quick check of the weather. Nice and clear. So everything going to plan at the moment. I say at the moment. You know, it can all go wrong. I've done a practice run of this where I've ended up in the pits in the rain and I've gone into the pits a car behind me has lost control and punted me through the wall out of the pits uh, which was the end of the race of course because I, I didn't have the fuel and the game wouldn't let me back into the pits uh, so you do have to be uh, a little bit aware of cars behind you as well uh, when you're pitting in this game they can really ruin your day I think we've got a little bit of a tow here we try and slingshot our way past this group. We'll follow the Mitsubishi, which is trying to clear the BMW using the Subaru's slipstream. Here we go. Here we go. Can we get the Subaru? I don't think we can get the Toyota at this time. We'll come off the throttle early. I'm not too fussed about getting the Subaru at this point. Oh, I've been hit. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, you don't see the eye getting penalties, do you? But never mind. I think they can, of course, break later than us because of the um, the downforce they've got. Have a look at the... Uh, yes, I'm glad I got the radar up. Otherwise, I'd have ended up getting hit again. Just over a bit, a little bit. It was a bit more power to get in the slipstream of the Subaru. Pull us away from the Mitsubishi. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit too much slipstream again. I'm a little bit leery today, apparently. But that's okay. Uh, we're still about 13 seconds behind the leader. It's not too bad. That's something we can try and make up later. For now, I just want to get back in the slipstream of the car ahead. Because that is really the only way we can make an advantage at this point. Hopefully we might see a couple of uh, cars stop on this lap. Oh, can we go around that side? I don't think we can. No. But at least we've got right where that bright yellow car can punch a hole in the air for us. Here we go. And then, of course, we lose a little bit when we step out of the slipstream, but that's fine. Hi, Mick. Thank you. Give me a little bit of a bump. See if we get to the slipstream of the Toyota. Can we move across now? It's safe. Here we go. So we're uh, we're lapping about the same as the leaders, even in this fuel mode. Be very, very careful here. So easy to have an accident here. Very easy to get a penalty here. Of course, Le Mans, absolutely notorious in Gran Turismo for being the, the random penalty simulator. Try and stay in slipstream as much as we can while uh, short shifting. Try and save some of that fuel. The skies are going great, so we've got uh, our first weather effect on its way. I think that Toyota's just going to come back at us here. Uh, yeah, that later break in, can we get them on the inside here? I think we can. Whoa! Okay. 
We're fine, but it's still in one piece. There you go. <laughs> it's all good. And we're up to seventh, but we have lost time to the lead car. Uh, I do want to just check. Oh, yeah, we've got weather already. Okay, so that's something we've got to keep an eye on now. Uh, 45% fuel. So we know we've got enough fuel in this map to get back to the uh, the end of this lap. But how effective is this lap going to be by weather? We can see the rain moving in. It's about to hit. In fact, we've got a little sprinkling now. So this is going to change the entire face of this race. Bit of a dusting there. Just let us know that the weather is on its way. When we get to the Mulsan, I will have another check of the, uh, the long-range radar. Oh, the Genesis there just blocking us off. I didn't want to risk a penalty by going up on the curb. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> a little bit squirrely through there. I didn't expect him to break that hard. Let's take a look here. It's not too severe. We are going to get quite a, a coating in a moment. Then that might all fade away. We shall wait and see. It's good that it's happened while we're on this lap because we can uh, decide what tyres to put on for the next lap when we get around to the pits. Matt McEwen's car there has uh, quite a lead over us, 18 seconds. The weather's not that bad, to be honest. Uh, we might still be in slicks territory when we change our tyres, which could be a bit of an issue. Or it could be a blessing, depends on what the AI decides to bolt on. As you can see by the long-range forecast, it's only very... Uh, very occasional showers. It's when you start seeing those dark areas that you really want to worry. Especially if those dark areas are purple. Um, I don't think I'm going to on the right hand side of the radar there, I think a little bit of darker blue. No, that's gone. Okay, so no, it's all fine. We're just going to keep going. Of course, I'll adjust my braking to be a little earlier. I'm just coasting to corners more. Like this one, for example. I'm just going to come off. Let this car go back ahead of us if it wants to. That's fine by me, as long as I can make it around the corner. Okay, it's backed out, so we're in fifth. And nobody's pitted yet, so we're in fifth on, on speed. We've got some heavier rain moving in. Uh, they're from the southeast. You see the, the darker cell on the map, so that's going to absolutely coat the track if it hits. I want to see where that hits if it does come. Uh, bug out a little bit early again. Starting to, starting to really uh, get a good coating of water. We're moving into the territory of Inters. Oh, just not quite as much grip as I had last time around. This is it. This is the heavier stuff coming now. I hear the car being battered by those raindrops. Uh, the AI with its extra downforce now finding some advantage. But I've got to be honest with you, I don't know if it's time to go on to Inters yet. The rain is so patchy. Do we risk it? Do we stay on slicks? And hope that the rain just goes away? Well, we've got until we get back to the pits to, uh, to figure that out. Look at the long range forecast, this rain's here to stay. What are the lead cars going to be doing? It's certainly still grippy enough for slicks. Uh, I don't know. I do not know.
Okay, tell you what. Let's go for the inters since it's still raining in the pit lane. And then uh, we will drop back in for the hards again if need be. Sorry for any strange noise in the background. That's my wheel overheating. McEwen's already out of the pits, so... That's, uh, that's a bit of an issue for me. It's still, yeah, it's still raining, so we're, st we're still getting a wetter track. We could really do with the weather radar uh, when you're in the pits as well. And the, uh, the, the moistometer. Oh, we're down to eight. We're going to stay in this engine mode for now. I'm glad I went to the Inters, but to be honest, oh, there's the Porsche going uh, out wide. To be honest, I think that's it for the rain. I think we're on the Inters for one lap only. Let's just go and make the Inters last for the entire race. Oh, what's going on here? So it looks like the AI may have felt that perhaps it wasn't wet enough for Inters yet. Or the AI knew that the rain was about to stop. Look at that radar, there's no more rain. Uh, I'm getting squeezed out here by this Aston Martin of Mendoza. We may need to pit again. Now uh, that's not good. So we'll keep our eye on the sky, and if the sky suddenly turned blue, I'm going to turn the engine mode up to one. Oh no, I've got this horrible feeling. The reason the cars are so slow through these corners is because they're on slicks, uh, which is the tyres that I need to be on, really, I think. Yeah, if that sky goes blue, we've got to pit again. And that's an issue. Uh, drat. I've been outthought by the uh, the AI because it knows the rain isn't coming. I don't know. Time will tell. Catch up to Patrick Blajan. Oh, can we get this car stopped in time? The AI are definitely on dry weather tyres. Get out of the way! It's Portilla who usually wins this one. But McEwen did a better job of the uh, the fuel saving today. All right, we've got a little bit more rain uh, on the radar, but it's not going to hit the track. Need to be keeping an eye on that. Perhaps, uh, perhaps not uh, switching tyres just yet. Certainly not turning the engine mode up just yet. We're still looking at, at the very least, two more laps after this one. Has McEwen made the right call with the tyres? Is that why he's so far ahead? Very wet down this part of the track. The question is how much rain is being dried up by those cars behind us. Yeah, so the rain just missing us at the moment. I could do with some rain, to be honest. If these guys are on slicks, I am so doomed. Ugh. I've got a feeling the track's going to be quite dry next time I come around. Like, slicks dry. On the flip side of that, some of these AI might have gone onto wets, which is why they're struggling. Uh, because it's certainly not wet enough for a wet tyre. Oh, what I love about this race, you've got to drive and think. Oh! Oh, we were very, very nearly making sandcastles then. It's definitely not the weather for that. Uh, that's more rain inbound. If that's rain, that's my saviour, because that'll help to keep the tyres alive if it is. Weather radar looking very interesting right now. Oh, there's often sanding water there. You can aquaplane very easily if you're not on the right tyres. 
And through there, Haywood, where's he come from? Right. Get some kind of on the call back through the chicanes. Oh, come on! Find some grip. Oh, that rain's getting close. That's what I need. Just keep my tyres alive a little bit longer. Well, the car behind us lots faster than us. Definitely made the right call with the tyres, whatever he's on. Probably inters. Big ball of rain coming. Wet the track again. If you're on inters and you're on the dry part track, you absolutely destroy the tyres, and we can't afford to do that since we're front-wheel drive. It's not like a, a real race where you can just run the inters down to slicks. Uh, the, the grip just goes in these. What have we got? That looks promising. That's going to keep the track wet for us. Or is it? We shall see. Get off the racing line where it's nice and damp. I'm going to Hayward though. Just let's hope we've got more fuel than him. And until we get to the end of this lap, we don't really know how our fuel situation is looking. Oh, he's trying to nudge me out there. And muscle his way through. And defend that place. Because we are so close to the end of the race now. We are racing for position. No doubt about it. And look at this. This is what we wanted. A big big ball of rain keeping the track wet, keeping our tyres alive as you can see we went through a few dry patches and they shredded the front tyres those patches oh is he going for the move? he's not, can we get past the Corvette though? that will give us a bit of a buffer if we can, oh a little bit too overzealous Changing gear very early there, just to try and keep the traction. We're just missing the rain at the moment. Uh, what I don't like about this game is the fact that the, the wind direction and the cloud movement don't seem to actually correspond to each other. Oh, come on! Don't ever take me then brake check me. Goodness sake. Okay, I'm hoping that Haywood's Lamborghini is uh, in a higher fuel mode than us. We'll have to wait and see. But this has all worked out perfectly for us. That front wheel drive making the car more stable in the wet. And at the end of this lap, we'll be able to tell by our lap time in the wet and the time remaining how much longer the race is going to be. And we can use that. Oh, we can use that to figure out our fuel strategy. The, the track a little bit too wet for my tyres just here. Uh, it's hammering it down. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, and no, it's not. It's not. Oh, I've thrown it away. Thrown it into the gravel. McEwen a long way back, I wonder if he's had an accident. I'm going to keep the revs really low just to keep the traction. We'll see if we can try and catch it back up with Hayward. The track actually moving towards full wets, which I wasn't expecting. Um, and the Inters have really passed their best, but I'm going to try and get them to our next pit stop. Oh, we've won again. Oh, come on, just pump the brakes. Ugh. I'm going to make the car stop. If we're going to get a good result from this, it's, uh, it's on pit strategy now. So the fuel usage, of course, in the wet is very different. I think I'm going to turn the engine up a little bit on the Mulsam. Just a little bit. I'm not going to overdo it. So Hayward's actually passed the pits. 
The car jinking a little bit there under braking. Oh, don't want to get a penalty. We do not want to get a penalty. Here we go. There's a weather looking. It's gone quiet. That could be it for the rain. Which means the track could come back to us. Oh, but I don't think I can catch the Lamborghini. I don't know what it's got in that thing. I think it's rocket fuel. Oh. Uh, we had a 4.54 on that last lap. So it could be... It could be that we're... Uh, we're looking at another stop. Oh, go on. I don't know if I've changed tyres, but I'll definitely... Definitely do something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. See, if we have to stop and the cars behind us don't, uh, what that's going to do is just make them all beat us. They're going to just fly past us. Uh, so we can get back on terms with Hayward now. Just get a slipstream and we'll just drop the engine. Here we go. Let his car do the hard work. We know that in engine mode 5 we need about 33% of fuel to get to the end of the race. So that's what we're going to be aiming for when we pit. About a third of a tank. We will have to pit. Don't know if it's worth putting fresh inters on. The track is certainly drying out quickly. I don't think it's going to be uh, quite slick territory. Could be horribly wrong. Here was Lamborghini there, looking for the uh, looking for the shadows where the, the track is wettest. Trying to keep that Lamborghini's tyres alive. It's uh, it's a very clever trick that the AI can do. Not something I've seen talked about a lot, but it is certainly a very clever bit of coding. Those underappreciated little gems in this game. Oh, those uh, the inters have gone. I'm understeering like crazy. So this is it, we're going to fill to about one third, we're going to need new inters because these are just gone. Is Haywood going to pit? He's not, Haywood is not pitting. Oh no, well that's it then, we're not going to beat him. Oh damn, uh, inters please. Come on then boys, get those tyres on, we'll get the old ones off first. Old tyres off, new tyres on, it's so sunny, I, I'm still questioning this, this tyre choice. Out we go. Mode 5, still in second. But for how long is the question? Oh no! Oh no, this track's really dried out at this point. Inters with the wrong choice. I'd have been far better on slicks. Wow, the track dried out so quick. Okay. There's an issue. We may yet lose second. Let's see if we can find some wet patches for these tyres. I've made a mistake. A horrible mistake. A terrible mistake. It's a little bit damp over here still. So, that's okay. Hey, it's about halfway down the Mulsan already. Uh, we're catching. I don't know if he's in fuel saving mode or if his tyres are gone. Break a little bit early because, you know, we don't know what surface we're going to be on from one bit of track to the next. There we go, lots of sun in this area of the track.
Uh, behind us, I think Mendoza uh, is uh, is not really catching us fast enough either. So second, maybe secure. Have we done as well in the clear RS as we did in the Focus? We're going to find out. We are going to find out. So Hayward's now about at the start finish line. I think he's, yeah, that's it. So uh, we're not going to win. The winner's already gone. Can we at least get second? Ugh. So little grip out here. Actually, I, I think that even with I didn't want any penalties in this race. Uh, e even with slicks, I don't think I'd have caught up, to be honest. Here we are. Second we'll have to do. That's fine. I can live with that. But 37 seconds back isn't good. But the uh, weather affected the race and uh, the Hurricane just had the best tyres at the time. That's how it goes. Give me the trophy. Yes! Thank you very much for joining me for this race. Uh, we'll try and do a, another road car versus something or rally or a rally car against something or a used car against something i'll have a look what, what i've got in my garage in the meantime if you've got any kind of challenges you want to see me do in gt7 uh hit me up in the comments down below thank you very much to my discord who are an amazing bunch of people thank you to you for watching the video and until next time be good to yourselves and be good to those around you bye bye for now